Jeff Smith. News from where you live. There's not a whole lot we can do other than uh, hope and pray for rain. The abnormally dry weather is beginning to concern local farmers. What it may mean for you at the checkout aisle. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Gina Quattrochi. Well, News Channel 18 has been covering the abnormally dry weather this year and what it means for farmers as well as for you. News Channel 18's Jesse Hawila joins us live from Jaeger and Calbera Roads in West Lafayette. The crops are in good shape now, but it's the next few weeks that have farmers pretty worried, right, Jesse? And yeah, that's right, Gina. These crops are in excellent shape right now, at least they appear to, but as we've been covering at News Channel 18 at noon today and 5, it's the soils that are very dry from the lack of rainfall all season. Now take a look at just how dry the soils are. You can see how cracked they are and how brittle too, just very, uh, very dry and crumbly. And that dryness actually extends well over a foot deep into the soil. I spoke with farmer Kevin Underwood today about the dry conditions and his concerns for the rest of the summer. His main concern continues to be the hot, dry weather. Underwood says it's a concern farmers can't readily address as cornfield irrigation systems aren't widespread in the area. He says if the dry streak continues, buying corn this year may cost you a bit more. If we don't get rain across the bulk of the Midwest in the next two, three, four weeks, um, we're going to probably see the yield impacted and as a result, uh, the prices will probably jump right back up again and that's obviously going to be a negative thing. Now, just to give you an idea of how warm and dry it's been, we had the warmest March on record this year, nearly 16 degrees above average for the month. Now, if you notice March, April, and May, meteorological spring there, we were below average in precipitation each month, and that added up to nearly five inches below normal for the spring, which is a very volatile time for corn and soybeans, as that's when they really start to get going. Now, so far, June has actually been cool, and Underwood tells me that that cool streak of weather so far this month is actually a benefit to the crops as we uh, reduce the amount of heat loss and moisture, uh, excuse me, heat stress and moisture loss that we could be seeing. Now, as Chad will explain in the full forecast, we may not be holding on to that cool streak for long, which is certainly not good news for farmers or crops at that. He'll have all that in just a little bit. Reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Jesse Hawila, News Channel 8.